Welcome back. So we got a couple things I'll set up. Uh, last episode we got a little bit of the um, residential demand uh, tended to. So we should be seeing a little bit of increase in money hopefully. Um, I'm not sure how much we're losing or how we're losing it. We should probably try to narrow down the... Um, what do you call it? The, the what's going on here? So uh, expense, we're just making enough. So by the looks of it, it might just be a number of things, just like schools and stuff like that. Not entirely sure. Oh, our income is kind of fluctuating as well as our outcome, our expense. That's interesting. Um, it says we're making about 22000 for the industry areas. Let's take a look at that. Offices. Inventory. Farming. We're making about 2000 for the, f the farming itself. But it says only like seven million. Okay, so maybe it's mostly yeah, it's mostly coming from our own industry areas. About nine point eight two percent for our expenses. That's interesting. So maybe uh, we need to kind of figure out a little bit more of balancing our industry areas a little bit more, so we have a more steady profit. Um, can't really do too much with these because it just is um, but now that we have this over here it's quite possible we can export a lot more stuff I mean they're already sending a lot of this out so hopefully we can get a little bit of money from that I'm not sure how about these, uh, how much they're producing, or if it's actually needed, really. Uh, field. What we really need is to produce more um, of resources that we can export that are a little bit more expensive. So, like planks and stuff, I think would be good. Uh, though we need better facilities, I think, for that. So, we should probably try to figure out where to put some of these things. Uh,
So, <clears throat> we seem to be making a lot more money now, which is great. Um, I placed down a couple more sawmills, and I think we might need another building to store some of that in. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another warehouse down over here. Actually, I don't know if larger warehouses are more efficient. Like, I know they're more efficient, but like... Okay, so the upkeep for that is 128. How much storage do we have on that? Uh, 250,000. So the next one up is 400,000. That's not exactly double. And upkeep's 160. It's not too much more expensive. Um, cost to build is doubled though. Truck capacity is 30. And then there's also the railway connection export which we might tap into if we can fit it somewhere along here. <clears throat> we could even do that. Uh, though there are very limited spots where we can actually put this. Might be able to... Um, oh, we can fit that just straight in there too. We might be able to fit a couple of these in if we were to switch. How? What's the capacity of these? 600. So it's a little bit more than the other one but it has rail export. So maybe we can fit that right in there. And I'm not sure if we can... Well everyone seemed to be pretty happy from that. So let's see if we can't set this to plank timber because we're going to be producing a lot of that and I'm going to see if I can't get this line over to that uh, rail system there. We might have to cr cut across the um, road there. Let's see what we can do with that. Might be able to do that, maybe. Let's try this. Might work. A little bit of a windy road, but <laughs> it's not.
ended up doing was putting a small um, tool system in. So we have a, a pretty good tool booth. It's only costing us about 240 uh, to actually run these two toll booths. And if we go to our finance and then to the roads, we're making about a small margin of what it's actually costing. Like for the, ex like we're making, well, if you were to look at the price, because it costs, um, 240, right? So we're making about... 40, 40 bucks, give or take, for this toll road, which isn't too bad when you take in consideration the weekly expense for both of these. I put it on the, the way for the um, industry area, so it's guaranteed that we'll have tons of vehicles going through here. So at least that was the idea. And there's a lot of traffic going to the, um, what do you call it, the tr rail export as well. So we get like a bonus for um, vehicles entering the city and also leaving it because there's no connection to the main city through without going through that toll system. So it does cause a little bit of congestion, but it's it's still moving, which is great. So uh, we could even put more tolls down, but I don't think we would be turning that much of a profit given that it's about the same amount we would need more reason for them to actually come over here uh which in a sense we could set up more industry areas or even just move the rail export and figure out a new place for it there's that island over there there's this area we got some more extra land over here so we could figure out maybe a better system for that maybe but at the moment it will get us a little bit extra money we are turning a small profit not and not too much. Um, it's been sitting around seven thousand or seven million one hundred and forty or one hundred ish thousand for a while. So it hasn't really increased or decreased. So we're going to need to figure out what we need for some of these things. We have some uh, residential demand, industry, and commercial. So. Uh, maybe if we can set something up for our like a farming industry just a small one in this area we might be able to get a little bit more profit uh, we'll see what we can come up with um, in just a second so I'm gonna zone this into a industry area got all of that nice cheddar right there <music>
Alrighties, so we got uh, level two on our amusement park, so I placed down some more buildings and decorated a little bit more just so there's uh, some forested areas, just a little bit, just so there's a little bit of decorations and stuff. And I put down the uh, piggy train and the, where was the other one? The, that one, uh, the rotating teacups. So they're all set up over there. Uh, we'll probably develop in this area a little bit more once we get um, some more buildings unlocked. But at the moment there isn't that many buildings and we're already above what we need. We just need more visitors. So um, outside of that it's like... Pretty much that. Oh, uh, what we could do is even more fun, which is a thing for amusement parks. And I think we could, that's cost per week, but we could celebrate as well. And I don't think that costs us anything. Even more fun should cost us $10 uh, per amusement park. So, uh, park by cost 10 10 or ten dollars each um, and we could do an advertising com campaign but we're still not doing great for money so I'll, I'll just leave it at that for the time being and hopefully that will help um, get some people over here a little bit more and we'll be able to kind of increase our park um, profit and stuff like that other things that we worked on are getting the forestry area a little bit more uh, sustained so we got tons of planks now trains have been coming and going through there and we got also uh, paper over on this one so it's connected directly up to the main line so we should be able to produce uh, quite a bit of uh, additional resources and stuff and we have the rail export over here we also put the tolls in uh, over, over over on this side. I don't know how much they're making us But we're making a little bit of money from that um, You know we're sustaining what we need for the actual cost of it and we put in the highway So there's another access point for people to get on and off of the highway now So outside of that if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time Thanks for watching. Peace out